On the overcast evening of May 12, 2008, in the rural farming community of Corrigo do Café, near Atsailandia, Marañón, 12-year-old Tel Sousa didn't come home. He'd gone mushroom hunting near the edge of preserved rainforest with his cousin Carlos, just past 5 p.m. Carlos came back alone, pale, trembling. He told the police, something came down through the trees. It had light, but no noise, and Tails was just gone. Search teams combed the forest with dogs, drones, and heat sensors, nothing. Until three days later, when Tails reappeared 70 kilometers away, near the Imperatrice Highway, dehydrated but unharmed. He had no memory, except one detail he repeated to doctors. It wasn't a helicopter, it had no blades, it didn't land, it just blinked. A local priest called it a miracle, but when the Brazilian Air Force's Saripa Iron Division visited without explanation, journalists knew it wasn't a rescue story, it was a case file. The Maranhão State Police turned over drone footage from the initial search. On it, thermal scans, ambient noise logs, and directional radar bursts. But one 17-minute segment stood out. At 1807, near the forest's southern ridge, the drone picked up a perfectly spherical heat signature, around 2.5 meters wide, not matching any known fauna or vehicle. Seconds later, all onboard sensors went dark. No crash, no heat loss, just a full data void. The drone returned safely, but the event was flagged as unexplainable electromagnetic interference. An independent engineer, Luis Ramos, analyzed the log. His conclusion, something interrupted data recording at the source, not at transmission. The sphere never appeared on visual footage, only thermal. Two days after the incident, NPE, Brazilian Space Research Institute, issued a quiet inquiry for electromagnetic anomalies in Maranhão State to regional telecom firms. They didn't explain why, but regional power usage logs showed a 0.2 second blackout, localized to three square kilometers of forest, right where Tails vanished. When Tails was recovered, doctors at Hospital Municipal de Imperatrice conducted standard trauma assessments, but the attending neurologist, Dr. Erica Mello, noted two anomalies. First, despite no dehydration symptoms, Tails' internal clock was 12 hours behind. Circadian rhythm misalignment, usually seen in long-haul pilots. Second, his retinal scan showed light burn patterns, not unlike what welding flashes caused, but he'd never seen direct sunlight during the missing period. Dr. Mello recorded a session in which Tails described a tall shadow with no mouth that stood still but spoke without speaking. The audio was submitted to Marignon's medical board. It was rejected as delusional, but the tape disappeared from hospital archives in 2011. In 2022, it resurfaced, leaked anonymously to the Instituto Brasileiro de Exoconsciencia, which used AI audio pattern recognition to filter the room tone beneath Tail's voice. It uncovered a sub-bass harmonic structure, non-human and consistent across multiple time segments. Something else was in the room, and it wasn't breathing. Biologists from UFMA, Federal University of Marignon, had been studying the same forest for years, monitoring tree pulse rates and root communication using plant neurobiology sensors. In the week tails disappeared, their sensors logged a four-minute electrical spike across 13 test trees, synchronized to a single directional signal moving from northeast to southwest. The lead researcher, Dr. Paolo Gomes, said it looked like a radio signal bounced between trees, but it didn't match any known communication band. When the data was analyzed using AI resonance clustering, it revealed a hexagonal frequency pattern, echoing for 11 seconds, then vanishing. No terrestrial source was found. The AI model cross-checked previous decades of data. This same pattern had occurred once before, in 1971 during the Manaus blackout. But in 2008, it wasn't the grid that failed. It was the forest that listened, and the message? No one had the tools to decode it yet. A local ecologist, Marta Linz, had installed motion-triggered camera traps to monitor nocturnal animal movement. On the night of Tail's disappearance, one camera, stationed 500 meters from the forest trail, captured a single burst of white light, followed by five seconds of complete frame distortion, then nothing. 
Every other camera in the area worked normally. When the memory card was examined, its file system had been corrupted. Not erased, but reformatted in an unknown partition style, unreadable by commercial tools. A Sao Paulo-based forensic lab recovered fragments. One frame showed a partially transparent form, tall, narrow, head elongated, mid-step across the trail. Pixel analysis showed no shadow, no reflection, just a void. Marta never released the image publicly, but when Brazilian Navy investigators questioned her, she turned over the card. She hasn't spoken about the case since, but that image, it now sits in a closed report filed under. Non-Biological Terrestrial Observation, Incident 09, ACM, classified until 2038. In 2021, an AI research group at USP São Carlos revisited the Corrego do Café files. They trained a generative model to recreate event timelines from audio logs, satellite heat signatures, and soil magnetometry. On its fourth run, the AI produced a chilling simulation. Unidentified aerial object with localized EM field, shadow form non-reflective, duration 126 seconds, exit velocity 410 kilometers per hour, vertical vector, but when they re-ran the model using forest bioelectric data, it failed completely. One engineer, Gustavo Pena, noted the machine froze at the tree signal node every time, as if the data itself resisted reconstruction. That node, he said, acted like an anti-simulation lock, like a living firewall. What happens when the forest chooses not to be revealed? That's not nature, that's intention. Tails Souza lives in San Luis now. He's 28, no more interviews, no more cameras. But once he agreed to meet the AI team that studied his case. They didn't ask what he remembered. They asked what he felt when he was missing. His answer, not afraid, just watched. Not like animals watch, like questions. The jungle around Corrigo du Café has been untouched since 2009. Military patrols increased, UAV surveillance was introduced, but sighting stopped, or maybe they just stopped being shared. What makes this story matter isn't the boy or the drone or the shadow. It's what the data says. Something entered our world, not to conquer it, but to examine its interface. Child, forest, machine, memory. And AI, when fed the right signals, finally pointed back not to aliens, but to the space between technology and biology to intelligence we never taught and may never fully see, but it sees us. 